Hi, it's Melissa here, and I know spring is just around the corner, and at least in my world, that means spring cleaning is coming up. But for many of us, myself included, that can feel overwhelming because it's just a lot of work, right? Well, maybe not necessarily. This week, I wanna give you seven strategies, seven ways that you can mentally and physically prepare yourself for spring cleaning, so that way you can actually tackle it and not feel overwhelmed. If you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel and give this video a like if you're ready to say goodbye to the winter and hello to the spring. Identify areas that need work. When it comes to spring cleaning, the thing to remember is not everything in your house needs to be cleaned spring cleaning style. You just need to do a few, the most important things. And in fact, this is a concept I go into a lot of detail in, in my book, and I call it MIA, or most important areas. And the reason this works is because it helps us not feel so overwhelmed about the fact that we have to clean absolutely everything. And we can really just refine down the areas that need to be cleaned by focusing on the areas that matter most. And the other thing that makes a lot of sense is to figure out the most daunting, the most disgusting, the most unenjoyable job, and do that one first. Don't confuse regular cleaning tasks with spring cleaning tasks. You would never wear a tuxedo to an outing at a coffee shop. And that's kind of the way I look at spring cleaning. You're not gonna do these big, formal, fancy cleaning jobs at your regular cleaning intervals, and you're not going to do your regular cleaning jobs at the formal spring cleaning interval either. So really give spring cleaning its due. Do the jobs that actually need doing during spring cleaning. All of those jobs that you don't normally tackle throughout the year, this is the time to do them, spring cleaning. Then the rest of the year, you don't really have to think about them. What gets scheduled gets done. And those who know me know I am a master scheduler and I firmly believe in this. If you take the time to schedule in the things that you need to do, you'll respect those appointments and you'll get them done. So when it comes to cleaning, give yourself blocks of time, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever it is, and block that time in with a task. And then that way you'll always know, okay, on Tuesday at 4 p.m. between four and five, I'm focusing on all of the window sills in my entire house. By five o'clock, your window sills are gonna be done. That's scratched off your list. You don't have to think about it for an entire other year. Think about all the things that are gonna happen in that year and you will never have to think about your window sills during that time. The other thing to keep in mind is when you are doing your scheduling, you can either choose by room or by task. So you can say, okay, on Tuesday between four and five, I am deep cleaning my dining room. Great. Or you can say on Tuesday between four and five, I'm doing all of my window sills. However you feel works best for you, that's how you need to schedule, either by room or by task, but always make sure that you're blocking out that time and you're honoring your appointments. Be realistic. You know that saying, don't bite off more than you can chew? Of course you know that saying, everyone knows that saying. Well, that applies to cleaning as well, specifically spring cleaning. Because if you tell yourself, I'm gonna clean all day on Saturday, like eight hours, the whole marathon, I can assure you, well, at least I think I can, if I know you the way I think I know you, that you do not wanna spend your entire Saturday cleaning. And if anything, you'll psych yourself up, you'll get through two hours, and then by the third hour, you're like, mm, no. So what I wanna do here is help you set yourself up for success. Be realistic. Maybe say, I'll spend two hours or four hours and I'll clean this much. Remember, you don't have to do it all and you don't have to do it perfectly. But as long as you do something and you set the bar somewhere that you think you can achieve, you're gonna be fine. If you overshoot, you're probably not gonna get there and you're gonna feel really bad about yourself and not motivated to keep spring cleaning. So start small, keep it easy, and build yourself up. If you're realistic, you're gonna get a lot more done. Recruit family members or roommates, whoever you live with, if they live in the house, they gotta contribute to the cleaning. So what you can do is figure out those tasks that you wanna get done during spring cleaning, and then talk to everybody in the house, find out how much time they have to contribute. Everyone needs to be fair and equitable here. And then decide what tasks people like doing. And you know what, let's not even use the word like because I get it, maybe people don't like cleaning. Let's just say what people can tolerate. So for example, if somebody is like adamantly opposed to doing, you know, vacuuming, which is me basically, I'll say I'll do this instead of vacuuming. Great, so assign me the this job. 
and then the person, Chad, who <laughs> actually doesn't mind vacuuming, he can actually do the vacuuming. That's how we come up with a fair trade in our house. We pretty much figure out what can I tolerate, what can I do, that's the task I'll do. And then we look and see what the other person can do as well. And that's kind of how we build things out and share in the load. Take an inventory of your tools and products. Before you even think about doing any cleaning, make sure that you look around the house, figure out what products and tools that you have, and then take a look at the tasks that you're going to be completing and make sure that you have everything on hand for those jobs before you ever start cleaning. Because once you start cleaning and you don't have something, if you leave the room to go and get it, A, you're gonna get distracted, and B, if you don't have that product or tool handy, you're not gonna go back and do it later. I mean, you might, but I'm not gonna give you good odds on that. I don't think you're gonna go back. I wouldn't go back and do it. I'd find something else to do. Reward yourself. Okay, I know you haven't even started cleaning yet, but I want you to start thinking about how you are going to reward yourself or your family or you and your partner, whoever it is that you're cleaning with. Because let's be honest, for hard work like this, you need a really good incentive. So Chad and I, whenever we do a lot of work, we usually finish it off with a nice glass of something, wine, a cocktail, something like that, or we'll go out for dinner. And frankly, we've been enjoying Mexican food lately, so there are chips and guac and margaritas usually involved in some sort of celebration. But you guys do what works for you. Maybe it's a movie night with pizza, maybe it's a dance party, maybe it's a games night, I don't know, karaoke, got it, I have tons of ideas. Let me know if you need any ideas. But think about that reward, because while you're cleaning and doing that hard work, you've got this really cool, fun thing booked in the future as a reward that you can really look forward to and something where you can truly celebrate and appreciate your accomplishments. Over the next few videos, I'm gonna be doing some more spring cleaning ideas with you. So we'll go over different tasks, different jobs that need to be done around the house, and of course, I'll walk you through how to do it step-by-step, step, sharing with you really good tips and techniques. If you have any spring cleaning specific questions let me know in the comments down below because we are going to be checking them and that will help inform us over the next few weeks about what exactly we are going to film after all these videos are all about you guys and helping you with your spring cleaning so we can't wait to hear from you for your viewing and cleaning pleasure I've put out my spring cleaning playlist right over there for you to check out and there's a button down there that lets me know you care so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.